What's up, guys? <laughs> My name is Kelly, and this is Kelly's Corner of Nightmares. Nightmares. Today is Friday Night Fright Night. Today is Friday Night Fright Night. We are going to be watching Terrifier. It has been uh, a big subject uh, ever since, you know, October rolled around and everyone was talking about it. That and um, Jeffrey Dahmer. I did watch the uh, the series for Jeffrey Dahmer. That was a uh, that was pretty good. That was uh, pretty fucked up. Some fucked up shit. As I heard of this one too. This one. Uh, I mean, I have snacks. Well, not really snacks, but a whole fucking meal here. I have a ton of chicken on my plate that I intend to eat. However, I hear that I hear. Uh, some things on this movie aren't very uh, good to watch while I'm eating, but that's never stopped me before. So what I usually do on Friday night, Fright Night, is I sit down on Friday nights and I watch a movie, uh, usually horror, horror related, uh, that I've either never seen before or I've seen and I completely forgot about. And I usually put a poll up in the community tab for all of you to see uh, so that I know what to watch next. Without further ado, let's get into Terrifier. Pew! Welcome back to the program. If you're just tuning in, I'm sitting here live with the sole survivor of the Miles County Massacre. Thank you again for taking the time to sit down and speak with me. Do you remember your initial reaction when you first saw your face? I wish I was dead. People are frightened by the way that I look. It's really difficult for me to deal with that, so. A man identified only as Arthur issued a statement claiming that his body disappeared from the county coroner's office the morning after the attack. Looks like he's not dead. I wonder what he did to this woman's face, like. I mean, obviously, I just saw it, but that looked pretty brutal, so I wonder what he, like, actually did to me. Hold up, was that hair made into a rope? A lock of hair made into a rope? That's okay. Oh my god, I thought she was gonna attack me. <laughs> if you think she looks that bad on television, imagine what she looks like sitting two feet away from you. Hello? Oh, you better die, bitch. That's probably just a jump scare. Okay. Let's go buying me drinks. I can't help it if people find me interesting. You gave that asshole your number, didn't you? Oh my god. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Don't, I don't feel oh, like fuck all that noise. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's not funny. I'm about to scream. Hey! Go buy us dinner! Stop. He's drunk. That's creepy as fuck. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe another two hours? All right. That was the longest piss I've ever taken. <laughs> Look at your boyfriend. I'll be right with you, buddy. You gotta see the shape of this fucking guy that just walked in. Oh, the shape? Oh, that was fucking creepy. Bye. I'd be leaving. Uh... Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Him. Excuse me. Can I get a picture with you? Hello. I'm gonna take that as a yes. What's wrong with you? What? Did you think he was gonna hack me up into little pieces or something? Probably. What can I get for you, buddy? This is weird. Why are his teeth Thanks. bloody? That's what I want to know. You freak! Get over here! All night with Jack! Well, are you okay to drive? Yeah. 
Yeah, trust me, that sobered me right the fuck up. It always happened to me! Do you have a spare? Yeah, my phone died. I'm calling from Don's. Kinda hoping you could pick us up? I have to be up in five hours, Tara. Where are you? You really think someone slashed my tires? Yeah, man. Steve! Yo! Yo, dude made a fucking jack-o'-lantern out of a dude's face. That's, uh, that's already some fucked up shit. Ouch. I'm right. Bathroom in there I could use? Sorry, I had to tell you before you use the bathroom. <laughs> Why? Thank that. You too. Thanks again. Don't make Gross. Just go pee. Go pee on the floor. Oh, the uh, shit. No way. God, you're never gonna believe what I just heard on the radio. Alright, this is getting good. Just get the fuck out of there, man. Why do people always have to explore? It's every, every single hormone. You just gotta- you gotta explore? Really? If you hear something weird, fucking run! Dude? What did you do? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You must be the new tenant. It's low to the pretty young lady. This is fucking suspenseful as shit. I love this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, she's definitely gonna die. However, I just wanted to point out one small detail that was really fucking cool. It was pretty fast, but he's he used that surgical knife, the the reflection off of it to see where she was. And that's like that's such a small but really cool detail. I love that. I love that they did that. Now, if you're still out and about in the Miles County airing a black and white clown costume with matching face paint. Just shush her. <laughs> He's having so much fun with it, too. That's sick. Man, 
I'm so glad I ate before I saw all that shit. I, I, I feel sick, honestly, I do. Mm. Come on! Get up! He's like, I will, bitch. Get up! You left the knife on the floor. I would suggest grabbing it before he does. Bro, he had a gun the whole time? Shh. Let me go in. I can't hurt you. Sure. <laughs> that wasn't the end of the movie, was it? No. Okay, what? Uh, he's like, fuck. What the? He looks annoyed, like, oh my god, this bitch's still alive. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. Jesus Christ. Very dead. Help me, please. Who are you? How did you get in here? You have what? Yes, dead, dead, all dead. He's killing oh, someone. Dad, you are talking. The clown with my face and the little black hat. It's not funny because they're all dead. Yeah, they're the fuck is going on here? Well, that was short lived. Man, this clown is angry. Gone. But also happy. Hello? I don't know. Fucking weird movie. <laughs> this is some crazy shit. Give her to me. Don't hurt my little girl. you see that? Emily? Is there kindness? You know what? How much you guys want to bet that there's like this crazy twist that this woman is like the girl that died's father, that mother, um, or at least like some kind of relative? What do you guys think? Let's see. Oh, this is going to turn, isn't it? Oh. Is anybody in there? I swear to God, if this is a prank, I'm going to kill you both. Oh, well. Too late for that. Yo. This dude scalped her. And cut off her whole chest and put it on him just to disguise himself as her sister. That's some shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Oh! <laughs> Look at how much fun this dude's having. Like, oh, this is some crazy shit. Well, there are, there's the rats. 
I thought, like, this whole movie, like, there's rats in this house, but there's no rats, and now there's... When is she gonna find her sister? What do you do with her sister? Oh, dude's still alive? Yeah! Alright! <laughs> that sucks. Relax, he's gonna be fine. The police and paramedics get right away. What's wrong, sir? Uh, Silver Street is still aware. Now, now. I knocked him out. Picks up, we are not safe here. This guy is on. Should about to pass out. Oh, there. It is. Fuck. Oh, if he wasn't dead, then he's definitely dead now. Is he calling someone? Why would you get closer? Why would you get closer? Oh! Police! Don't fucking move! You're gonna get shot! Suicide. I'm eating the face off of some young girl after he ran her over with a truck. I've been doing this 22 years. All right, once you've seen an eight-month-old microwave to death. No way. For you. I'll see you in a couple of months. Okay, I really liked this movie. I have my problems, though. Like, that ending, I mean... It's kind of, like, typical, you know... Like, cliche 80s ending for a horror movie. I would have liked to see, you know him actually be dead. I don't know. I just, I just don't, I don't like that he just up and came back to life like he's some sort of supernatural being, but it's, I don't know. I feel like the ending kind of ruined it for me a little bit, but the kills were so gnarly and intense and, and insane and he was like laughing and happy about all of it and having fun fun and it's like oh my god <sighs> I gotta say the acting in this was like subpar but it's like it's a it's a low budget film so I I could I mean I could yeah I mean I assume the second one's a little bit like better with the acting part However, I heard the the second one is like two hours and some odd minutes, so it's like, do I want to watch that? <laughs> I feel like this would have benefited a little bit more if it was a little bit longer and, um, I don't know, I had less, you know, uh, less of a supernatural feel to it instead of like... I don't know. I, I did really like it, though. It's It was interesting, and it kept me watching. And the this guy is just like... Ugh. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Friday Night Fright Night. I will see you guys next week. I hope you like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon. And stay safe out there. <laughs> Bye, guys.